with Fashion Sewers. In this video tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to sew self-bounded seams. I'm Colleen Geely and this is Fashion Sewing Blog TV. In order to make a self-bounded seam you need to start with a plain seam and what a self-bounding seam is is when one seam allowance encases the other so there'll be a folding action going on in order to encase the other but before we do that what I need to do is cut one seam smaller than the other and I'm doing this roughly about 0.5 centimeters a quarter of an inch can be smaller you do have to be careful when you're using this type of seam with the fabric that you're going to use because it's best suited to fabrics that do not fray a lot because of the small amount of seam allowance you're working with and it will quickly unravel. So make sure it's a lightweight fabric and it doesn't unravel. The next step is to take your work to the ironing board and you're going to use your iron to press a small fold in the on the raw edge of the other seam. And it's roughly going to be the same measurements so we're talking about a quarter of an inch, 0.5 centimetres and then you're just going to press that all the way to the top and this is one of the reasons why it's not very effective on fabric that frays a lot or unravels because you're working with a small section and as you turn and press it can start to come apart and also it's quite a small seam so it's more suitable to lightweight fabrics Right, I've done that one and now what I'm going to need to do again is fold, press another fold over the smaller cut seam allowance, it's quite hot. So that's what, I hope you can see what's happening there. So I'm pressing, making sure the smaller one is encased. So that is now bounded seam. And then the next step is to sew that into place. Um, we've now pressed two folds in the larger seam allowance and it's a case of taking it to your sewing machine and starting to sew. Now you're going to sew quite close to this edge all the way down. You don't necessarily need pins because you press the folds in it, it will literally stay in place. All you need to do is just guide it. Now, here you have your self bounded seam, and that is the other side. So, on one side, you've just got one row of stitching, and on the other, you've got a double row of stitching. That's done by the sewing machine. And if you wish, you can either slip stitch so what I've done is the same process where it's double folded exactly the same it's just a matter of whether you want it to be done by machine or whether you want to actually do it by hand and that will really depend on the sewing project there are so many different types of seams out there for your sewing project and it's all about the garment that you're working with the fabric and also whether you want to have the seam shown on the outside or the inside of the garment this one would be on the inside of the garment and it will be a case you have a choice whether you actually want to machine sew or sew by hand and as I said it really is about the project you're working with. If you have any questions or queries please put them in the comment box below and I'll see you next time.